One, two, three. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I. And barley grows as you and I. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I. And everyone knows waiting for a partner. First the farmer sows his seed, and then he stands and takes his ease, stamps his foot and claps his hand, and turns around to view the land, oh, waiting for a partner. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I, and everyone knows. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I, and everyone knows. Waiting for a partner. Now you're married, you must obey, must be true in all you say, must be kind and must be good, and help your wife to chop the wood, waiting for a partner. Oats and beans and barley grows as you and I, and everyone grows as you and I, oats and beans and barley grows as you and I, and everyone grows as you and I, and everyone knows, waiting for a partner.
sitting every night in the big armchair, reading the people's friend. Well, the fells are full of badges, from Butlins down to Kerr. She goes to the bingo every night with the rollers in her hair. She's just a healthy flippy, she'll not take no advice. After a feed of a while, you're here, I'll punch your ticket twice. Her father's just a waste her mother's on the game. It's a wee bit better now I've gone and bought the ring I've won it to Jim at the pitch And tossed down by the Lindsay Bing We're wee black hat and our ticket machine My heart she doesn't snare She's my lily all glimpin' And she's my funny Maggie Blair She's just a girl flippy She'll no tack the advice I've got to do a while You're here, I'll punch your ticket twice Her feathers her mother's on the game She's just a Celtic with But I love her just, just the same I am a jovial collier lad As blithe as blithe can be and let the times be good or bad, it's all the same to me. It's little of the world I know and care less for its ways. For where the dark star never glows, I'll wear away my days. Down in the coal mine underneath the ground, where a gleam of sunshine never can be found. It's digging up the dusky diamonds all the season round. Deep down in the coal mine underneath the ground Me hands are hoary hard and black through working in the vein And like the clothes upon me back, me speech is rough and plain But if I stumble with me tongue, I've one excuse to say It's not the collier's heart that's wrong, it's the head that's gone astray Down in the coal mine underneath the ground I never can be found It's digging up the dusky diamonds All the season round Deep down in the coal mine Underneath the ground A little do the great ones care who sit at home secure What hidden dangers colliers dare, what hardships they endure The very fire they sit beside to warm themselves and wives Mayhap was kindled at the cost of jovial miners' lives Down in the coal mine underneath the ground Where a gleam of sunshine season round deep down in the coal mine underneath the ground so cheer up lads and make the most of every joy you can and always let your mirth be such as best befits a man for whether times be good or bad we'll still be jovial souls where would we all be without the lads who look for coal down in the coal mine underneath the ground where a gleam of sunshine never can be found it's digging up the dusky diamonds all the season round deep down in the coal mine underneath the ground
ship I have got in the north country, and she goes by the name of the Golden Vanity. I fear she will be taken by a Spanish Galilee as she sails by the lowlands low. As she sails by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, as she sails by the lowlands low. Then up there spoke a little cabin boy, and he says, What is me fee if the galley I destroy? The Spanish Galilee, if no more it shall annoy, as you sail by the lowlands low. As you sail by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, as you sail by the lowlands low, of silver and of gold I will give to you a store, and my pretty little daughter that dwelleth on the shore, of treasure and of fee as well I'll give to thee galore, if you sink em in the lowlands low. If you sink em in the lowlands low, in the lowlands low, if you sink em in the lowlands low. So the boy bare his breast, and he straight away leaped in, and he bore all in his hands an auger sharp and thin, and he swam until he came to the Spanish galleon as she sailed by the lowlands low, as she sailed by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, as she sailed by the lowlands low. Then he bore with his auger, he bore it once and twice. And some were playing cards, and some were playing dice. As the water flowed in, it a dazzle in their eyes, and she sank by the lowlands low. And she sank by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low. And she sank by the lowlands low. Then the boy swam around all to the larboard side, saying, Captain, take me up, for I am drifting with the tide. I'll shoot you, I will kill you, the cruel captain cried. You may sink by the lowlands low. You may sink by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low. You may sink by the lowlands low. The boy swam around all to the starboard side, saying, "Messmates, take me up, for I am drifting with the tide." They pulled him up upon the deck, and he closed his eyes and died as they sailed by the lowlands low, as they sailed by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, as they sailed by the lowlands. And they sewed his body up all in an old cow's hide, and they cast the gallant cabin boy over the ship's side, and left him without more ado, a drifting with the tide, and to sink by the lowlands low, and to sink by the lowlands low, by the lowlands low, and to sink by the low. You 
seldom see For he sad to roam far away from home Away from you and me But remember, lad, he's still your dad Though he's working far away In the cold and heat eighty hours a week On England's motorway When you fall and hurt yourself And get up feeling bad It isn't any use to go a-running for your dad For the only time since you were born That he's had to stay with you He was out of a job and we hadn't Bob, he was signing on the broom. But remember, lad, he's still your dad, and he really earns his pay. Working day and night upon the site of England's motorway. To buy your shoes your daddy built A length of a railway track He built a hydro dam To put the clothes upon your back This motor highway pays the bills But the money soon is spent But remember, lad, he's still your dad And he's toiling night and day But there's food to be had And it's thanks to your dad On England's motorway Sure I miss your daddy To have him working near her home And to see him all the time But beggars can't be choosers And we have to bear our load For we need the money a daddy earns A working on but remember, lad, he's still your dad And he'll soon be here to stay In a week or two here with me and you When he's built the motorway
Well, the fishing was bad, and the boat laid up. Though me and the lad weren't shirkers. When a chap come into our village pub, and he say he's looking for workers. He talked like a bit of a yanko, he thought, though he stood us a couple or three. And he say they're building a hoily rig to get hoil from out of the sea. He say there's plenty of riches for all, and gas as well as oil. And all he wanted from us local chaps was some help with the work and the toil. How much have we earned, I ventured to ask. Oh, twenty, thirty pound or more. Is that a month, I say? And he laughed. <laughs> no, a week, he say, and maybe more. Well, I went and I told the missus this yarn. I've heard these yarns afore. But I couldn't see no good could come of drilling these holes offshore. I'd rather wear the boat with the boy. But the missus, she sit and she fret. You'd earn more there in a week, she said, an old bloody year with your net. So, in the end, I took the job, and the boy, he's on the tug. Well, I thought some good might come of it, if it's only some beer in me mug. Well, we worked on this platform thing they made, and the drill, it went, Whee! 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 And we drilled this bloody great big round hole in the bottom of the old North Sea. Well, there weren't no gas... And there were no oil, not a sight nor a smell we found. Till one day, the lad he shouts to me, Hey, Dad, our tug's aground. I looked overside and the boy was right. The water was leaving the tug and swirling away down this hole we made, like out of a bathroom plug. I looked all round and there were no sea. And everywhere I spy, there's boats and ships and liners aground. And the fish, all high and dry. It looks just like a desert boy, enough to make a man afraid. And the last of the sea, going glug, 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 down this bloody great hole we'd made. Then a hiss, and a roar, and a cloud of steam. Out of our hole it came, and up popped the head of the devil himself. Hey, what's your bloody game? You've flooded all me furnaces and put me fires out. And hell's all cold and sudden wet, you puddin-headed lout. Blast your bloody oily rig. You make an angel sob. I'll never get hell hot again. I've lost me bloody job. <laughs> right riled he were. But I just laugh, for I don't give a mite. You won't burn no more souls, I say, without a bloody light. Ah, so we done some good with our oily rig. We doused hell in a hurry. So now, if you die, it was only heaven. So, no more need to worry.
there were 60 crates of Guinness and a barrel of heavy beer. A box of mutton brides that would turn your stomach queer. We hired an Alexander's bus and went upon a spree. The day our social club it had a day beside the sea. Well, the bus had early started when Big Willie fell off the seat. He drank ten pints of heavy and he wouldn't stop to eat. He cried, the Kaiser's got me, cause I'm wounded in the rear. We hadn't the heart to tell him he was sitting in his beer. And when the poker game got underway, there nearly was a brawl. For the stakes were raised to tuppence, and the week went to the wall. Big Ian, he got off his chair to drain a pint of keg. He was certain to find that he had lost his wooden leg. And there was sixty crates of Guinness and a barrel of heavy beer. A box of mutton dryies that would turn your stomach queer. We hired an Alexander's bus and went upon a spree. The day the social club had had a day beside the sea. Well, the bus arrived in bags of time with fifteen pints to spare. And some went paddling in the sea and some went off in pairs. And Danny Brown and George McPhee went off among the rocks. Whatever it was, she said she lost, it wasn't just her socks. And when the hour fell round to opening time, the season lost its charms. But we happened to be parked in the back of the blacksmith's arms. We had our supper in the pub, a pie and a pint of stout. And bags and bags of tatty crisps, a feast without a doubt. And there were sixty crates of Guinness and a barrel of heavy beer. A box of mutton dryies that would turn your stomach queer. We hired an Alexander's bus and went upon a spree. The day the social club had had a day beside the sea. Games of darts and dancing, there were jokes and sangs enough. And some of us that stayed the pace were feeling rather rough. Just then the driver shouted time and Big Willie shouted no. And he hit the driver such a clout, his nose began to glow. Hey, I'm old enough to be your dad, I'll have you on the floor. Oh, had your tongue, said Charlie, man, he's only 54. He hit Big Willie with his stick and a fight got underway. Now wasn't that the perfect way to end a perfect day? And there were sixty crates of Guinness and a barrel of heavy beer. A box of mutton dryies that would turn your stomach queer. We hired an Alexander's bus and went upon a spree. The day a social club had had a day beside the sea. If she doesn't eat the tar the day, she'll eat the tar the morn. He's torn a Oh, the black balls broken out and bullied are the guy. Oh, the black balls broken out and bullied are the guy. Oh, the black balls broken out and bullied are the guy. If he doesn't ball them all the day, he'll ball them by and by. He's torn a He's torn a He's torn a Did ever you see 
Oh, she wedn a deed, she wedn a deed, she wedn a deed the bar. In the bed, or in the bed, or up again the wall. Oh, but she did it on the pantry where the best he ever saw. She hooked it up her petticoat and cried, Caw, is torn a repita, torn a magin. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. He'll ever be seen second out of the kitchen. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. Did ever you see second old Trickettle? Oh, she wedna did, she wedna did, she wedna did the bar. And the bed are the bed are up again the wall. Bet you did it on the pantry floor, the best you ever saw. Hot you up her petticoat and cried, Caw, he's torn a repita, torn a magin. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. He's torn a repita, torn a magin. Did ever you see second old Trickettle? <laughs> Private Jones came home one night Full of beer and very tight He'd been out all day upon the spree He bumped into Sergeant Speck Flung his arms around his neck And in his ear he whispered tenderly Kiss me goodnight Sergeant Major Tuck me in my little wooden bed We all love you, Sergeant Major When we hear you bawling, show a leg Don't forget to wake me in the morning And bring me up a nice hot cup of tea Kiss me goodnight, Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major, be a mother to me. Bless them all, bless them all, the long and the short and the tall. Bless all the sergeants and WR1s, bless all the corporals and their bleeding sons. There's many a troop ship just leaving Bombay Bound for old Blighty shore Heavily laden with time expired men Bound for the land they adore Oh there's many a squad he just finished his time And many a twerp signing on You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean So cheer up me lads, bless them all Bless them all, bless them all, the long and the short and the tall. Bless all the sergeants and WR1s, bless all the corporals and their bleeding sons, for we're saying goodbye to them all, as back to the barracks they crawl. You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean, so cheer up me lads, bless them all. Sergeant's a very nice bloke Oh, what a tale to tell 
Ask him for leave on a Saturday night Now we'll pay you fair home as well Oh, there's many a squad he has blighted his life Through writing rude words on the wall You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean So cheer up, me lads, bless them all All together now, bless them all Great pockets with bugger all inside But we're saying goodbye to them all As back to the barracks they crawl You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean So cheer up me lads, bless them all Last time now Bless them all, bless them all The long and the short and the tall Bless all the sergeants and WO1s Bless all the corporals and their bleeding sons For we're saying goodbye to them all As back to the barracks they crawl You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean So cheer up me lads, bless them all
Well, we're going to start. No, no, don't no we're not going to start. No, we're not going to start. We're, gonna, we're not going to start with two polkas, uh, which we didn't know the titles of for a long time, so we call them the Helford Leather Polkas. song written by a Scotsman called Hamish Henderson and it's a plea for a better world. It's a freedom come all you and it's kind of enduring. The Scots, half, half kind of Scots and half English, okay? Rock of the wind, a clear day's dawn Heels that go the other day, but there's never not a rock when blowing are the great glens of the world that day. It's a thought that would gather rotten's all the rocks that can gallus fresh and gay. Tag the road and Seek the loanings for the real boys to sport and play. The orchestra will now play the melody. We're doing this so that guy can sing along with it. Thank you. 
and bred in Ivy now. I was born at me granny's. There's a nice little village is Ivy now, like what they calls interdenominational. That's got a church, a Wesleyan reform, a Ebenezer strict Baptist, a Bethel, and a little Salvation Army made out of corrugated iron. <laughs> and when that rains, that don't half rattle. Only, of course, there's nice soft water. <laughs> I'm church myself, St. Mark's, what they call perpendicular. That was built by the Vikings in the 11th century before the railway come. <laughs> That's got a fine lot of old crusaders in them, like these here stone statutes, where he lays underneath and they put these here stone statutes on the lid so as he recognises himself. <laughs> Ah, only I don't reckon nobody will recognise him because us have been sharpening our sickles and fagging hooks on him ever since I can remember. Uh, and he ain't got no face then. Us gets into church at night and sharp as our sickles and fagging hooks on this here old crusader. Ah, all over him. I reckon that's the finest bit of sharpening stone in Harfordshire. <laughs> only, of course, nobody don't know that's been handed down like Oh, I had to laugh at our old vicar showing some folks over the church one time. He says, this here old crusader, he says, was defaced by Oliver Cromwell at the time of the Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to laugh. Uh, he lays there quite comfortable like with his old girl alongside him. I reckon that's the finest bit of sharpening stone in Hertfordshire. Only his old girl ain't no good. Can't get no edge out of her. <laughs> Uh. He have a little dog lays by his feet, like this here crusading dog, what used to follow after him down by the Crimea. <laughs> Only that's more like a whippet, if you ask me. Now <laughs> uh, that lays over again the organ. I'm fond of music. I used to sing in the choir, only they reckon my voice was a bit too spiteful. <laughs> uh, I mind my friend Charlie said to me one time, he says, you've got a belly full of music, Jimmy, but a bad road out. <laughs> uh, not like that old Miss Piggott what used to play the organ. I hated the sight of her. I couldn't abide her. Uh, they reckon her, her dad was one of these old army gentlemen left over from the mutinies. But she was very hot on the temperance. Oh. Uh, I mind I left my, my barra stood outside the Rose and Crown one time. 
I've been over to fetch some bean sticks over by the crab tree and I left my barrow stood outside the rose and crown and she seen it stood there. Well, I bumped into her on the Tuesday and she says, I seen your barrow stood outside the rose and crown. She says, that's intemperance, she says. Look not upon the wine when it is red, she says, for at the last it biteth like a serpent and stingeth like an adder. Proverbs 25, 31 and 32. <laughs> But I said, I was never inside the Rosen Crown. I says, I never went near. And she says, I seen your barra stood outside. She says, that's intemperance. She says, that's intemperance. Well, I could see there weren't no good argifying, so I touched my hat and I said, good afternoon. Uh, three or four days after, I left my barra stood outside her front door all night. <laughs> <laughs> That had her. <laughs> oh, we'll drink to the downfall of tyrants. We'll drink to Christ the Lord. We'll drink to the twelve apostles who preached his holy word. We'll drink to the saints and martyrs in the dismal days of yore. And whenever our glasses are empty, we'll remember one saint more. And whenever our glasses are empty, we'll remember one saint more. We'll drink a health to the king, me boys, we'll drink a health to the queen. We'll drink to the royal princes wherever they are seen. We'll drink to the dukes and the duchesses and all the royal men. And whenever our glasses are empty, we will fill them up again. And whenever our glasses are empty, we will fill them up again. And now we'll drink to the ladies and all their glorious charms. We'll drink to the pleasure that we find when we are in their arms. We'll hold them very tight, me boys, but we will make it clear. It's goodbye on the day when they do say they will keep us from our beer. It's goodbye on the day when they will say they will keep us from our beer. We'll drink to the master and mistress and their glorious harvest feast. We'll raise our glasses high, me boys, to the strength of malt and yeast. We'll drink a health to the landlord and his beer so strong and fine. And we hope that he forgets to shout when it comes to closing time. And we hope that he forgets to shout when it comes to closing time. coming on please open your door and let us come in
master and your mistress sitting down at the fire while we poor wassail boys do trudge through the mire with our
for you. Okay, just one more. One last one. This is especially for you. I want you to hang on to every word. This was, this was uh, set to a tune by all of us one night at a and John drunken Robertson, party Tony in Barnes, oh, right, uh, Buffalo, <laughs> of all places. John Roberts, Tony Barnum and all of us. <coughs> uh, after we drew lots, there was a banjo player we didn't like called Eli, and we drew lots as to who was going to hit him, and John Roberts won, and then we wrote this. Actually, we've been crediting this, this to Eli ever since. <laughs> yeah, we, we, Eli's a nice guy. The dogs, they held a meeting, they came from near and far, and some came in by taxi, and some came in by car. They went into the meeting house and signed the visitor's book, and each one... Each one sniffs the, 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 each one s